How did you prepare acting with a beaver puppet on your arm? Well, you stick it on your arm and you walk around and talk in the mirror and see what it looks like, and then you uh, spring it on other people sometimes and see if they like it and, you know, see how convincing it is. You just kind of get used to the physicality of it and the, the rhythm of it. Who did you uh, try it out on? Oh, gosh. Family members, uh, you know, friends, uh, strangers, and uh, everybody. It was, it was very interesting. The reaction was interesting, what it did to people. They didn't quite know who uh, to talk to. And it was interesting that, Jody, most, most of the coverage of Walter and the Beaver was usually a two-shot, which puts you under a little pressure. But uh, um, I was saying, please. I'm so insecure as an actor, I'm like, please give the beaver a close-up. <laughs> you know, was the two-shot thing. It's, uh, you know, you gotta have the, you gotta have the whole dog and pony show going all the time. And the experience working with Jody again as a director, uh, in this case. Yeah, it was the first time I'd worked with her in that in that aspect, of course. Uh, of course, I, I I was fortunate enough to sort of like work with her on screen too. But it was she's whoa, she's a force. She's a dynamo. She's a little dynamo. She has nice shirts. Elaborate. <laughs> Great shirts. <laughs>